But you know what's also dying, Jay? The modern day entertainment industry. Murder. It was murder in there. We've talked about the box office extensively this year. 2023 is almost over, and it's been a disastrous year for Hollywood. Nearly all the big budget movies that are out there that were expected to do big things flopped. Blackout magic! Only one movie that had a $200 million plus budget this year may have broken even. That's Guardians of the Galaxy 3. What? And that's just barely. That just barely broke even. Everything else has lost money, sometimes to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars for these studios. That's just awful. How are you terrible? Oh, no. Whether it's The Flash, Dial of Destiny, The Marvels, Wish, all of this stuff. And now, here we are, and the t- two of the top three movies this weekend here in the United States are Japanese. This is how embarrassing the United States box office is right now. The Boy and the Heron, an anime, uh, takes the number one spot at the box office, wow. almost $13 million dollars. Hunger Games down below 10 million. And then Godzilla minus one still hanging around. Added some theaters. Only had a 27% drop in its second weekend with 8.3 million. (laughs) Anime at the box office setting records. You've got Godzilla minus one. A a completely in Japanese movie that is with a $15 million budget for a big disaster mover like this. And yes, and you got to read the entire thing. These things are breaking records as Hollywood continues to slump. And it should just be another lesson to these people that there is a fan base out there. There's an audience out there. You got to start making the right movies for your audience instead of these bloated budgets, these insane budgets that instead of being made for your audience are meant to teach your audience a lesson magic. or to go after a new group of people or whatever. Godzilla minus one was incredible. Um, I, I don't think we're going to stop talking about it for a while just because what a great movie it really was. But to see these things having this kind of success and to see the rest of the stuff at the box office just slumping. Look at this. Wish got beat again by trolls. Um, Beyonce movie dropped off. Napoleon's down here. Waitress, the musical, whatever the fuck that is. What is that? Animal is another foreign movie. The Shift is basically an independent movie from Angel Studios. It's faith based. The yeah. Marvel's all the way down at 12. Hey, Bob. An embarrassing time, an embarrassing weekend really an embarrassing year for United States, like Hollywood b- movies. Black girl magic. What are they blaming it on? Like theater fatigue? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what kind of new statement are they going to come up with as to why people are not going to the film? Uh, Bob Iger blamed, there was several things. Yeah. I think he blamed the pandemic. He also blamed that uh, nobody was around the set uh, as much as they should have been uh, things like that. So it's, it's always this past the blame with Hollywood, but people are going to the film and watching what they want to enjoy. We we did we forever. We talked about Five Nights at Freddy's, a low budget film that specifically catered to their audience, and it did very well. Other than like all these other Hollywood movies that come out and just sort of like, hey, watch this, you're gonna love it. Why? Well, we have the first female black director. Okay, black girl magic. We got a lot of women starring in it. That'll get that'll get me in there. It's crazy, too, because usually the summer box office and the Christmas box office are usually pretty stacked with movies. But the only thing we have looking forward to is Aquaman 2. And Wonka, I guess. Um, Uh, Do you have any interest in I have like zero. I don't like like the uh, I think think movies like Wonka take away the mystery of like Willy Wonka. It's a origin story movie, correct? Kind of, yeah, and I think so. At least, at least that's what I think. I could be wrong, but it I don't like when they do that because then it takes away like the mystery of who Willy Wonka really is. But I actually think it's going to do better than people expect. I'm not super interested in it. Like it, it doesn't like appeal to me really. But I do think that if, if there's a movie out there that could take off during the holidays, I think it might be Wonka. I think because obviously it's going to be family oriented and everything like that. Um, I think it has a chance. It debuted in a couple international places this weekend and did okay. If I were to bet, I would say that it overperforms where it was projected. It was projected like twenty or thirty million dollar opening U.S. I wouldn't be surprised if it if it overperforms that. But you're right. The state of Hollywood. This is what we have left. Like you got Aquaman, the sequel to a billion dollar movie that now at this point might be lucky if it cracks what three hundred million dollars. I think is maybe what some people are expecting. So yeah. And then we have Migration, a movie about ducks flying south for the winter. If anything, these animations that are coming out of like Universal are not like budgeted like Wish or these other ones as well. So it's just people just have like they they're wising up. It's like money's tight. Thanks, Joe Biden. And it's like we're going to spend it on something that we really want to see, not uh, 
not stuff you're going to try to shove down our throat. I'm looking at Wonka right now, and um, it opened to $43.2 million overseas. Did really well in a lot of the markets. It's actually had the second biggest opening in the UK behind Barbie this year. So maybe that'll do really well internationally. Just kind of take it, take it somewhere. Maybe. We'll see. I still think Aquaman will do good overseas. So I'm still holding on. I'm still holding on to my 485. Man, I, th- I thought the Marvels was going to do horrible, but I thought it was going to make like $325 million. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it did not, really bad. not $200 million. <laughs> Holy fuck. Blackout magic. 